Barnett is 4-1 after completing the pre-district schedule with the win against Taylor last week. Head coach Kirk Jones tells us what the Bulldogs have been doing during their bye week. 4-1, yeah, we'd, we'd prefer to be 5-0, oh, but, uh, you know, you want to win them all. But, uh, you know, we feel like we're in a pretty good position right now. Um, you know, I felt like kind of told the kids after the game the other night that <clears throat> felt like we'd kind of hit a little bit of a lull and maybe some progress we'd been making in some different areas. And so, uh, you know, we've got to use this open week to light a little fire under us again and, and uh, go back to work, find some areas that, that uh, we need to improve in. We need, we need to go get some work in those areas. And um, I think we can be better. I, I don't think we've played our best ball yet, so that's exciting. Okay, so now that you are on your bye week, give me some of the things that, that the boys, you and the boys have been going through and working on the last few days. Yeah, we, uh, <clears throat> we took yesterday off from practicing, so today will be our first day to be back out on the grass and, and practicing. So, uh, you know, we'll start talking a little bit of brown wood and, and uh, also take some time to just go back and work some basic drills in terms of uh, tackling and blocking, pursuit drill, all those kinds of things. We'll get some extra special teams work in. So uh, it, it's a good week to go back and work on some basics. I, I'm sure that's probably a little bit cliche for people during open week, but you really do have a chance to just go back and focus on some basic stuff and not you know, necessarily be preparing for an opponent on, on this coming Friday night, and, and that'll be good for us. Why do you think <clears throat> that it, Bye weeks are an important part to revisit, you know, the fundamentals. Because I know that y'all spend a lot of time on fundamentals and basics throughout the school year in addition to your off-season program. So why spend so much time on it during the bye? Well, you, nowadays, you know, I think you spend so much time game planning for an opponent. And uh, the way offenses are nowadays, uh, playing those against spread offenses that – run so many different formations and so many different plays that it takes quite a bit of time to to put in a game plan and talk to your kids about how you're going to line up and how you're going to cover people and the different blitzes you might want to work in that week. There's just there's so much teaching time when you're planning on uh, when you're game planning for an opponent that coming weekend. Um, <clears throat> all of a sudden during an open week, you don't have an opponent that weekend. You get a chance just to kind of back off and not feel that that uh, you know that hurried time frame of trying to get ready for an opponent on Friday night, and that probably allows you to go uh, back to some of the basic things that you'd like to always spend a little more time on. How healthy are you? Do you feel like you're in pretty good health, or did the buy come at the right at the right time? Uh, you know, the buy is going to come at the right time. We we've got a handful of kids that that have some bumps and bruises and you know sprains and all that kind of stuff. But uh, you know, I know everybody does at this point in time of the year. So uh, we're not unlike anybody else. We uh, we we hope to get some kids some treatment this week and and maybe. Uh, maybe we'll have to hold two or three kids out of, you know, some drills and some contact stuff just to try to give them a chance to to be ready by the time next Friday rolls around. But uh, I, I think we'll be all right when when uh, the Brownwood game comes around. Do you <clears> like <throat> having a district-wide buy? No one in your district is playing Friday. Is that correct? Uh, that's correct. Um, you know, I, I've been involved in, in districts where – uh, been involved in seasons where you don't have a buy at all. Um, seen and, and been involved in other districts where you have a buy, but it's always kind of offset. It's not a, you know, a district district wide thing, but uh, that just so happens to be the way it is here in this district. And I, I guess it's probably a good thing that uh, we're all open at the same time. And um, when we start district play, everybody starts, and and that's it. You'll be playing the rest of the the rest of the year. Any idea what you'll be doing Friday night? Uh, I'm going to get away from football a little bit. You know, it's uh, yeah, n this time of year, it, it's <clears throat> it's hard to find your hours to get away from football. And uh, but I think it's good. I think it's important for me and and our staff and probably our kids just to, you know, maybe take a night or two and get away from football and sharpen the old axe a little bit and then come back the next week ready to get after it again. Kirk Jones, the Bulldogs open District 8-3A play against Brownwood, Gatesville, and Liberty Hill, arguably the division's top three teams. 
The Bulldogs also have another added weapon, experience, and senior quarterback Derek Kaiser. He gives us an inside look about what it means to play the position for the Bulldogs. It's been pretty incredible this year. It seems like anywhere we turn, we have uh, someone stepping up and making a play. And even, uh, I guess, Darius went down against Canyon Lake and Corey filled in last week and did a great job. And uh, now he's down. We have to move someone up. Uh, and people always step up here, it seems like, and burn it. How, what do you attribute that to? Uh, just the heart of the kids here, never stop fighting. Uh, always want to do the best for their team. You have a close relationship with Stephen McGee. It seems like every quarterback who comes through this program, he is the guy that set the bar. Yes, ma'am. Tell me about that relationship you have with Stephen. Um, I feel like I'm closer to him than most of the guys that came before me. Uh, since I was five or six, throwing the ball around with him, getting tips, uh, just hanging out and being around him. Uh, a guy like that doesn't come around too often, I guess. So you want to... You want to have a role model. You want to be a, want it to be a guy like that. And, and in what way have you modeled your game, or, or yourself rather, after him? Um, just being a God-fearing man, I guess. Um, uh, he worked harder than anyone I've ever seen come through here. He's, uh, on the field every day of the summer, throwing balls in the trash can, uh, getting better. Recruiting, how is that going so far? Um, solid, I guess. Uh, Visited Mary Harden Baylor the other day, and uh, still talking to Abilene Christian and SFA. Uh, actually got accepted to ACU the other day. Like nothing athletic, 